Right, another one, okay? Now, uh, this just involves just a little bit of algebra. Please don't think you have to set that nine. Okay, remember one equals positive nine, one equals negative nine. We're not doing that for this one because we've got to take away a seven from both sides first, okay? You must just isolate the absolute before you can do those absolute rules. So if I take away seven from both sides, I have two x plus eight still inside the absolute. Okay, so that's the absolute part we've got on the left-hand side. And that now equals 2. Okay, and now you're ready to start, like you've maybe watched in the other video. Again, 2x plus 8 equals 2. Okay, and 2x plus 8 also equals negative 2. Okay. Remember, you can now have the negative. If you've got rid of all the absolute rules, remember, you can't absolute anything to a negative. Okay, but now I've got rid of the absolutes. It's just one's positive two, one's a negative two. Okay, we're going to take away eight from both of them. Okay, I'll just do it all at once. Okay, you've got to, guys have got to do all this. So take away eight from here. And take away eight from here. All right. So we have 2x equals negative six. Hopefully you can do the basic math. And over here we've got 2x equals negative 10. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get answer of, if you divide them by 2, okay, divide by 2, divide by 2, that will give you a negative 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and that will give you a negative 5. So again, I'll just come over here, remember curly parenthesis, a negative 5, and what was it, a negative 3? Okay, curly parentheses. So that will be the answer right there. It's okay. So there you go.